Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, it's one of the things that I talk about quite often when it's when I'm like looking back at certain times as far as that goes. You know. But now that we're like getting really close to June and it's like the end of the school year as far as it goes. And it just kinda of seems kinda of strange how time has passed by and all that. You know as far as that goes. So considering all of that, you know, it's like the last of my kid cousins are now going to finish high school. Yeah. As far as that goes. And I have like two second cousins that are already in school at this point. You know, like you're kind of heading towards middle school as far as that goes. Yeah. But it's one of the things that I kind of said before about this that that if um, Garfi and Simon were human kids, you know, they would be in seventh grade as far as that goes and finishing up seventh grade and then next year going into eighth grade. Yeah. But as far as that goes, you know, that whole chapter of my life was kind of interesting in some ways as far as middle school. You know, because that was when I first started to see, like, those therapists and all that, you know. As far as that goes. And I think I was starting to become a little bit more comfortable socially. But not necessarily as a way of me being kind of social butterfly as far as that goes. You know what I mean? So, anyways, one of the things that I was going to mention on here is, um, it was right at this time was when I was going to the same school as everybody in the neighborhood as far as that goes. So, there was no reason for me to be, uh, having to be picked up right out of front of the, the house as far as that goes. Yeah. So, anyways, considering all of that, um, all the kids in the neighborhood had pretty much taken me in in open arms as far as that goes. They didn't care that I was in special ed and all of that, you know, as far as that goes. You know, although I think there were maybe like one instance of where I was being bullied in middle school, but nothing really came of that. You know, where it was one of those bullies was like commenting on how I was uh, eating the Oreo cookies as far as that goes. And, um,. I think the whole story was, is I think it was one of the teachers that gave me that to snack on as far as that goes. So that was the whole story there. And so, as far as that goes, uh, it's one of the times when ignoring the bully actually does work. When you're not giving them any kind of reaction whatsoever. You know, and then they just, you know, stop. Yeah. Considering all of that. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, when it came to, like, bullying there, there was just that instance with that one guy, um, I think his name was Nick, that bullied me and my old best friend and he also had a sexually assaulted one of my one of my friends 
you know, that's a girl. You know, as far as that goes. You know, and then I think what happened was he he was in juvie for a while, but I don't really remember exactly what has happened there because I think he had to go to um, the other school, which was kind of like the alternative school. So, that was one of the things there. Because, if I remember correctly, the alternative school was in another city within the district. And uh, as far as that goes, when you graduate from that school, you get the diploma from your home school there. Rather than the alternative school there. But... As far as that goes, that school was also an adult school as well as alternative, you know, continuing education sort of thing there. And I think it was like the neighboring school district had something similar to that where they had like an alternative and adult school continuation on one campus. And I think they had like the same... Um, policy but you know I could be wrong as far as that goes so that was like the thing that I had to kind of mention about that sort of stuff here you know so anyways it was one of the things that I had mentioned a few times about that you know was it's, because it's almost been like 20 years since 2001 as far as that goes and it's interesting how um, that has been that long since 2001 you know and then the whole before the attacks and all that you know what I mean so I remember at one point it was it was right around this time of year towards the summer and where they had uh, a Yahoo news article about the Taliban and this was like where I first heard about the Taliban and they said the Taliban bans the internet and then someone makes a joke like I get it Taliban you know, before how we made all these sort of jokes about the Taliban, you know, afterwards when when we were trying to hunt down Bin Laden and all that. You know what I mean? So, anyways, that was kind of one of the things I had to kind of mention about that sort of stuff with um the the whole year yeah so it was right around this time um a one was when the whole boy band pop craze thing was starting to die off you know when it came to like in sync and Backstreet Boys, 98 Degrees, and uh, all that other stuff there. And when there was like acts like Avril Lavigne, Sum 41, and um, The Strokes, or uh, Michelle Branch were starting to become popular, you know. Because I remember it was around um, the 4th of July weekend and whatnot was when that song by Michelle Branch was getting popular as far as that goes. And then, you know, the other thing that was the thing that didn't really last that long here in America was like the show The Weakest Link. You know. 
But I think it all had to do with the attacks and then, you know, um, Anne's uh, style was just, you know, not working out at that point. I think it would have probably would have had a bit better odds if the whole attacks never occurred. You know what I mean? So, anyways, that was one of the things there. And it was right at that time was when they started having, like, the the syndicated version of The Weakest Link, you know, about a year later, as far as that goes, you know. And so, I think that show was okay, you know. And then I think it was right around that time was when they started doing the syndicated version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, if I remember correctly there. Because then it was Meredith Vieira was the hostess, as far as that goes. And then they had all these other different people that were hostess nowadays. Yeah. So that was one of the stories that I could also mention here. So, anyways, um, as far as that goes, you know, when it comes to that, it's just interesting how, you know, it's been like 20 years since like the whole early aughts, you know, as far as that goes. You know, in about a couple more years, it's going to be like 20 years since YouTube has been a thing. You know? But I don't know if we're going to still have YouTube in, you know, a couple of years as far as that goes. Or if YouTube has, you know, has been completely be a shell of what it once was and all this sort of stuff there. But that is kind of another story altogether. So anyways, talk to you guys later.